Hello and welcome back to another hardcore Minecraft video. Um, today I want to make some nice progress on the city area here and build up some of the neighbourhood along this road. And before we do that, I actually want to make some improvements to these houses because as I was thinking about them, I think there's a few improvements I can make just to make them look a bit better, especially ones like that. And things like the roof of this <laughs> it's all a bit weird but I do like certain aspects like this window design I like that um, but yeah I'm gonna go through add some improvements probably get rid of the sandstone here um, and so I think I'll probably just tear down a lot of this stuff and then go and add the improvements but I will need quite a few resources for it and at the same time I think I'm wanting to change the path in here. I started off with just a deep slate path, but I think it would be nicer if we went with uh, like a stony, um, just stone and gravel and cobblestone all mixed together. Um, we can have some tough in there as well. Um, and then we'll get to finishing off some of these houses, like this one and this one here, which will be the log shop this will be the magical animal shop we've got our charge creeper in there and then we can build up these houses and then we can get to doing at least this entire alleyway here so that's the plans for today so let's first probably tear down a lot of this um, and then we can get to collecting some resources so I think we can do that in one big time Okay, so with that, I think I've gotten rid of everything I need to to build in the new stuff. Um, it looks a bit mismatched and o all over the place, but um, yeah, I've had a design in mind, so I think it'll work out just to make everything look a bit nicer for our friend Mr. Creeper over here. <laughs> He's still going well. Um, I actually had to bring in the spare creeper we had because I forgot to name tag the first one, which was very, very smart of me. <laughs> but um, I think inside here I want to have a skeleton horse because over this way uh, there was a thunderstorm one time and there was one of those skeleton horse traps, so there should be four skeleton horses over that way. Um, so that would be pretty cool if we got one in there, um, but I think I'll do that after I build these buildings. So There's quite a few resources we have to get, but the one that's probably going to take the longest, I have to get like 10 beehives because I discovered a really cool uh, colour palette with beehives. Um, so I think I'm going to try and locate a cherry blossom biome because there's beehives everywhere there and then we can go and um, collect some. So I'm going to do that, and then we can collect some of the other resources. And really quickly, one thing I forgot to notice, um, it's day 800, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so the alleyway here is basically done, except for the interiors. Um, it's pretty cool, I have to say, walking down with all the buildings complete. It looks really busy and bustling, <laughs> and I just noticed I still have to fix this roof, but for now I'm going to let it slide. Um, the two interiors we have done are the... Um, the midnight in here. I still have to do the little bar with the sugarcane juice. I thought it was a cool idea with our mini sugarcane farm. And of course we'll move the map to the castle when it's built. I think I'm going to have to expand the map to a 4x4, maybe even a 5x5, but um, that is a matter for the 20th episode. Um, come up here, it's just, you know, the inn, all the rooms and stuff. But, um, yeah, the other interior is, of course, the library over here. 
um, <coughs> where we have our books. Um, so yeah, I want to try and fill up a lot of these shelves with written books. These are both written about the trial chambers and the trident. I'm going to write one about the greenhouse and about a lot of the history of the world, I think. Um, maybe we'll do some of that today as well, because it's a bit of a smaller episode. Um, I added a nice little roof to the food shop here. I... Uh, went over to this and finished it, the lumber mill. It's a pretty short little one, so we'll have to put something in there between the spaces. But it's cute. Um, so yeah. <coughs> the good thing is I have all the areas for where the interiors will be done. I just have to put them in. Um, we have a little log yard out here. And this isn't where I'll store my wood. I'll build a uh, lumber mill in the industrial district to store it, as well as a quarry for all my stones. Um, but we won't do this today. But um, today I'm going to be building all of this along here, along the backs. And in the next episode, or one episode in the future, I think this area would be good for a little mini greenhouse to um, sell some of the plants from the greenhouse or just from around. And that's where I'll actually store all my plants. Um, and then I'll have my storage system for all my miscellaneous items, all the other <laughs> items in the game that I'm not storing via things in the city. Um, then we have the animals um, with our charge creeper he's got a nice home building now just added another layer here some decoration up there and some nice windows so that's pretty cool it'll be a big one then we have i guess sort of the bank maybe i'll change it up it's a bit boring with just a stone um, and some outlines for buildings here so great progress so if the city's done Sorry, <laughs> the alleyway is done, except for this roof and some interiors. But I think I want to get all the interiors done in one episode, because it's pretty tedious. <laughs> and, um, yeah. I think today the other thing we're going to be doing building-wise is just getting this alleyway done. Um, I've designed a bit of it already, because I want to try and make it my best work. And, um, so I don't have to do improvements on it later. And yeah, so I just have to gather the materials and we can spend a few hours placing in all the blocks. So, um, yeah, I don't know if I'll just grab all the materials because I don't know how many we don't have, but um, it shouldn't take very long. So, I'll see you either in a montage or in a minute when we're ready to build. This is all the materials we need. Um, it looks pretty random, but it'll come together as a nice build, I assure you. So, um, let's get started on building just the front faces of all the buildings here in a nice time lapse. Okay, so the alleyway here is complete. Um, I just put in a nice stone pathway because I don't know if I said before, but I'm going to change this road to uh, stone. It's not just going to be plain stone. I'll mix in some corals and cobblestones and andesite and maybe even a bit of tuff as well. Um, so it isn't as bland. And once we've done that, then we can start adding the details into here. So it looks a bit more alive like uh, this alleyway as if there's actual people living in it. Um, but this is not all for today, as these are just the faces of the buildings. You can see here, I haven't built the backs. Um, so I think today, um, I might want to at least finish the back of these two buildings, because this is going to be an alleyway that runs through them. And then I'll finish off these two buildings here to end off this alleyway, and then I'll build the mini alleyway through there. And maybe we can t figure out what we're going to do with this wall, which will lead up to the second alleyway and a path to the castle on the mountain. Um, and if we get time, we could always build the second half of the buildings coming through. And then we can add the details on the ground so we know what we're going to have. And I want... so. 
if you see here, it's a bit of a triangle sort of shape going across. Um, so there's going to be an alleyway of really bent buildings here because it's like a curve. Um, and this is where the dock's going to be. The, so we'll dig out all the water so it looks like it's really deep and we'll have some ships and docks. I would like in the perfect world to have it a bit raised above the water, a bit more than this, but it's okay. So maybe actually I'll just level the terrain out and I'll bring it across at this height the whole way and I won't have it go downwards. Um, but we'll see, that might actually work a bit better because it's actually a bit of a gap at the end but it doesn't feel too high but we'll see what, we'll see what happens. So these are looking pretty good um, but I think for now let's just get the roads in and then we can build these buildings then I might actually want to build this building here because I'm pretty sure I want to have different storage areas in the city for my blocks so in the industrial district we'll have the lumber mill for logs the quarry for stones and here I want to have a shop that sells some of the plants from the greenhouse which is in the distance you can't see it from here I'll just and there we go, there's our greenhouse. So some of the plants from that greenhouse will be sold in a sort of mini greenhouse and plant shop and that'll take up a lot of the space here. Um, it's just something to add in the middle of where the two alleyways will go. And cause I don't, because these buildings are going to have to be pretty big because if these buildings come like this, there's going to be something to fill up this area. But I think it'll work out. We can always build a little monument area for just maybe a little park with grass in the middle to come into um but yeah so let's just to start let's um get all this road removed and get some blocks to put in there instead uh, i do have quite a bit of spare random materials um and yes let's get some cobblestone, some normal stone. Some gravels and then I'll probably also run to the uh, coral reef and get some dead corals to put around. And yeah, so I'll see when the road is complete. Maybe we can do a nice transition. So I'll stand on this block and when I turn around, and there we go. So if I turn around again, the road is complete. Um, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I just added some little bits of darker patches for some nice detail with the basalt. It looks like little pebbles, some deep sand, and some tuff. Um, and then most of the road is just a mix of stone, corals, stone uh, bricks and uh, gravel. I was going to use some light grey blocks, like light grey concrete powder, but it's a bit too light. I think the cobblestone is a good highlight. And walking down, it feels like a nice little road now. Um, I'm very happy with how it turned out. And not just busy textures everywhere, sort of blobs of textures that are formed with nice patterns. The bricks in more of a bricky shape. And the um, corals and more blobs of what would be pebbles. And the dark stuff around the edges. So I think I'm going to continue this road for wherever the um, uh, the city goes. I like this little this little area. I think I'm going to have some markets down in here um, for some village people. Just to, there's a few little smaller shops off the end for some people who can't buy an entire shop building. Um, and then that will lead into this small plaza area out the front of the town hall um, where we'll have some gardens and stuff as well and then we can continue this road down and I can also texture this road here but I'll probably just do that once I've got the buildings on the other side um, it's day 8.26 now I'm pretty happy with how this road turned out so 
Um, I think it's time we started working on these two buildings here. I just made the stone outlines for basic shape, but um, yeah. Uh, I think I'll just swing them, I'll see how it goes, I've got all the box here, so I think maybe we can hop into another time lapse. Alright, so I finished the one face here, and I think that's going to do it for today's episode, it's looking quite nice. Um, but I've been doing a bunch of planning for the castle on the hill and I'm super excited to get started so I think I'm going to cut this video short so I can start work on episode 16 on building up the castle here. Um, so I really want to start building that just because I've had a few ideas recently and about the forest and some terraforming here. So I'll probably do a few episodes like terraforming the mountain first and then adding in the forest and stuff. Then we can get doing the castle, but um, yeah, we made some good city progress here. Uh, always important to work on the city a bit. I really love this little alleyway here, and of course all the improvements to these builds that we made, um, and finishing off all of them as well. Um, and we started these two with this nice little one. So yeah. I'm pleased with today's progress. It's currently day 827. And our greenhouse is still looking nice as ever over there. One last thing I forgot to mention before is I um, went out and grabbed a puffer fish while I was grabbing some coral from the coral reef. And wow, this still has an oxidized. Um, oh, I think it's just wax actually. Yeah. Um, and then I got a little puffer fish. So in this barrel here, we have a little puffer. So <laughs> I like the puff fish in this game, so I thought that would be nice. Um, so yeah, thank you all very, very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.